Hi YouTube. Well, this just came in. It's the doll or dolly. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. Pencil sharpener. And in this video, we're going to talk about this. Alright, time to take a look at the box close up, see what we have here. It looks like it's uh, got a point adjuster, determines the style. Create a rounded tip or a fine point for greater precision. Hmm, okay. Two sharpeners in one. So I guess the rounded tip or the pointy tip. Should be interesting. Removable blade assembly. Good for colored pencils. It's got a mounting clap. Large, easy to clean shaving cup. All right. Wonder how it's going to compare with my favorite hand crank sharpener, the Helix A5 from the UK. Clearly, they both have that mechanism in the front, but let's take a look. Open up the box. This here is the model 155, by the way. They happen to have different models, but uh, this one was actually recommended or referred. So um, I went ahead and bought it since it was recommended. All right, we'll get rid of that. So you have this. Kind of plastic case here. You got the little slide out cup. And that just that pulls out and snaps back in. And then you have your your clamp. And here, I believe. Hmm. Okay, this is the interesting part, but this is, you turn this this way, counterclockwise, to sharpen one way, and then you turn it the opposite way, I imagine, to sharpen the other way. We'll find out in a second here. And you can see, if you look closely here, get it in the light, you can see there's an arrow here and an arrow here with a line connecting, so it's telling you to go one way or the other. And if you really look closely, um, the light here isn't so good, but okay, there we go. Right there. You can see that that's got kind of the blunted tip, and that's got the pointy tip of the arrow. So that, that tells me that counterclockwise all the way, we're going to get the pointy tip. And if we go clockwise, then you'll get the blunted tip. And if you look at this turning knob here real closely too is that when you turn it this red thing will turn go in or out so counterclockwise you can see that well, actually the black thing is coming out little little black nib thing is coming out because the red knob is staying there and if you turn it the other way you can see it, it protracts back in again all right now as far as the construction of this thing, okay, it's all plastic. It's kind of, I don't know, it has kind of a flimsy feel to it in, in the sense that it's, it feels, it feels cheap. It has kind of a cheap feel. Now, compared to this, this is metal. This very solid, you pull this out, it stays out. This was like 25 bucks for this puppy here. And then... Then as you turn this, it will snap in as it brings in. But this one here just snaps in. So when you put the pencil in, of course, it'll, it'll hold. But it, it just feels really odd. 
and if we look inside here, you can see the single blade turning in there. This one turns so much smoother. Anyway, let's uh, let's test her out and see how she works. Now, I don't want to do a rounded point just yet, so I'll just do the the sharp point. And we're gonna need a we're gonna need a pencil. So you pull that out now. One thing I can tell already that I don't like, this is a personal preference thing, but you pull this out and you're going to have to like put your fingers here to hold that from going in and then you're going to have to open this, you're going to have to kind of open that clutch thing there so you can get the pencil in there, let the clutch thing go and then you can let your you can let this whole thing go. That is not a good thing. I don't like that at all. You compare that with this. Where you go like this. You pull it out, hands free. Do this. Stick that in there. Hands free. Easy peasy. Parcheesy. This. You hold it. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. So I got a... I gotta, you can't, you gotta kind of like, and if I try to, if I try to do this, you know, hold the clamp out, I have to hold the body below here. You can see I gotta make sure it clears my hand. And if I, if I let go of it to grab the pencil, the whole thing is just gonna snap in. Look at that. So what does that mean? That means not only do you have to do this, but then you got to use your hand and you got to hold it down to the table like this. Okay, this this is awkward. I'm sorry, but that's awkward. Okay, I don't know why it has to be like that. And then I'm going to put my pencil in and let it go. All right, let's go ahead and see how it sharpens. Oh, that's so hard. All right. So that's the pointy. And now I'm going to do the same thing. Get a different pencil here. And we'll sharpen this and we'll compare the little tips. Is there a difference? Yes, there is. Okay. The one on the top is a much longer point if I line them up. And that comes from my A5. Or even a Carl Sharpner will do that. This Dolly or Dale or I don't know if that's Dale. Dale or Dale or Dal. Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, this one here is the shorter. It it it's not as long. It's not a long point sharpener. So that's definitely um, not a plus in my opinion. That's that's just kind of standard. However, I can see something right off the bat that this would have a certain advantage. For example, remember this jumbo pencil that I had to go buy the big O um, Coom Jumbo Sharpener? If you've seen that video, to sharpen this big fat pencil. All right, I'm going to bet that I can sharpen that big pencil using this thing because look at the size of the hole on there 
compared to this A5. Okay, that's right off the bat, that gives this something it can do that this cannot do. And let's see how well it can do it. Now again, of course, we're going to have to do this. This is the tricky part where I'm going to have to hold that. It fits. Wow, that's cool. It fits. Let's see if it sharpens. It takes a little bit of muscle here to do this, but it does sharpen. Oh boy, look at that. Oh, yeah. So, it would seem that, get that focus back, with this dowel sharpener here, 155, I can sharpen regular pencils and these big fat pencils and no doubt these other big fat pencils, the 9XXB, without any problem using this sharpener as opposed to having to use my new jumbo sharpener, which I guess is, is something I could throw in the garage when I want to use these as a garage pencil, these big fat things. Um, but that, okay, that's cool. That, that gives this an advantage over this as far as more variety of pencil diameter thicknesses that it can sharpen. So apparently there's almost no pencil that's going to be too big for this. It's not as smooth as the A5 and it does not sharpen these regular pencils as long as the A5. So for everyday use, when I'm not doing jumbo pencils, which I'm not going to basically, except for my 9XXB, which I use a lot for drawing. Now I have a sharpener to sharpen my 9XXBs quickly. I believe so. Make sure. Here we got the old awkward thing. Again. Woo! Wow! Look at that! Now, okay, that is so awesome. So, I'm going to proclaim that this puppy, this doll 155, this is a great sharpener to use for these big pencils, these thick pencils, thick diameter pencils, which I use this a lot for drawing. These are for very dark darks. Just got these jumbos in the other day. Great for garage work, I guess, or for learners, you know, young kids learning to write. Excellent. So, I didn't waste my money on this. I'm happy I got it. I think this is great. So I don't have to waste my time with these jumbo sharpeners. I'll just stick them in the garage or something. Leave one here, but mostly put them in the garage for sharpening these big pencils when I'm working out there. So yes, if you're going to use the 9XXB, for example, or you're going to use these jumbo pencils, I highly recommend that you get this sharpener. Wow, I didn't think this video was going to end in such a positive note because it's, it's plastic, you know, it's kind of cheap. The, the handle's all kind of plasticky and cheap. I don't know how well it's going to stand up to the test of time. But it's pretty darn awesome that it does big pencils because my other sharpeners do not. Now, before I conclude with this video, I'm going to have to break my tip again. Right here. Because we need to test out the rounded setting on here. So let me turn this to the right. Hold this out again. You gotta be careful to center of this too, because it's so big. The hole's so big that that um, you need to make sure. So that's a 
that's not really good for these regular size pencils. I don't like it for that. But let's just test that rounded thing out. Let's see what that does for us. And there you go. The old rounded st stub nose. I have no idea what that's good for. Seems like a waste to me. But anyway, that's it. So, really good pencil sharpener for the money to deal with these big diameter pencils. And uh, I think, wow, that's really great. I like this. I'm glad I bought this. I need this. Well, if you like this review, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Little button right there. Leave comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.